Deanna, that is the big question tonight. How should Milwaukee spend its money? Leaders with public departments sharing what they would like to receive, and the public also weighing in, sharing what they want and what they don't want. Inside the rotunda at Milwaukee City Hall, posters filled with budget information from city departments. This budget hearing laying out the amount of money departments like the health department, police, and public works say they need. It's also a time for those who live in Milwaukee to share their opinions. This is all about getting feedback, getting input from the public in Milwaukee. But how the city is going about it by using post-it notes has some skeptical. I don't even know how if that's really being collected, right? Because it's on a sticky note. Do you trust that? I don't trust it. Still, the colorful notes on different boards asking for the city to increase library expenditures, work with homeless outreach, and a ton of police community engagement. Each year we see such a large expenditure going to police and policing, and I think our community, community would be better served by investing in programs like the library. What does your ideal budget look like? My ideal budget is First off, decreasing the police budget, I want to see our community invested in the things that they need, right? Our community needs housing. They need their grass cut, right? These lots need to be maintained. So we need to fund and value the communities that live here. So Kristen, what's next in this budget process? So this is the very beginning of a long process. The mayor said from now, from here, he will take the feedback into consideration before submitting his budget proposal to the Common Council next month. From there, the Common Council will review and possibly amend the budget during October and early November. And then the final budget is expected to be adopted November 8th.